Let's bring in Alabama Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville. Will we hear any reality, Senator, during the State of the Union? Who knows? I'm sure he's reading his speech as, as we speak. It probably won't be over 20 minutes long. That'll be the good thing about it. I won't have to sit there very long. But it's uh, uh, it's amazing. I, I tell you, he hasn't done anything right in the three years I've been here in Washington, D.C. The, the country is crumbling. Uh, the country needs a heart transplant. and. and Hopefully, hopefully we can get through this Thursday night, and this will be the last one we have to go through with Joe Biden. You know, Tommy, you see a lot of people. Um, a lot of people love you. Um, what truly is the state of the union right now? Where are people at uh, that you come into contact with? Well, they're hurting. They're hurting bad. The economy's terrible. Uh, and, of course, a lot of people don't see what's happening in the border, but they're starting to feel it in every state. Uh, but it, it's just amazing. They see the crime. And they're starting to feel the crime. It's not just in the big cities. It's coming to the uh, small rural areas near you. It's all over Alabama. I'm talking to our police chiefs now in Montgomery and Birmingham, and then they say, "Coach, we never heard of, heard of fentanyl three years ago, uh, and now that's all they have in their cities. Uh, the border is. They're overrunning us. They're killing our people. They're killing our kids. It's just an absolute disgrace what these global socialists have done. They've not done anything right. Uh, they want to destroy our country. Take it to another level." and they have almost reached that point. We can't wait, and we, I don't know whether we can wait again, uh, for seven more months to get here. We want to get your take, uh, and this was a, a win for democracy, but a major blow for the Democrats, the Supreme Court ruling unanimously that Colorado, particularly, and this would apply to other states, cannot disqualify a former President Trump from the ballot under the 14th Amendment. President Trump taking a victory lap after that decision. I want to start by thanking the Supreme Court for its unanimous decision today. It was a very important decision. We're very well crafted. And I think it will go a long way toward bringing our country together, which our country needs. Uh, you're, before I'm, well, meanwhile, this is the, the land of left wing nuts and the liberal lunaverse, as I call it. They became unhinged. Keith Overman, he still has a job, even goes so far as to say the Supreme Court is corrupt, illegitimate, and should be dissolved. But, Senator, this was, it, it did send a very clear message with a nine to nothing decision coming out of the high court. Well, the good guys finally won. Uh, we don't have a lot of wins up here, but the good, good guys finally won. The Supreme Court stepped up. It was a huge win for our Constitution and the voters of this country. You can't take people off the ballot because you don't like them, and that's exactly what they're trying to do. They've attacked Donald Trump since he came down that elevator in 2016. It's just amazing what they've tried to do to the man. They've tried to bankrupt him. They're going to try to keep him off every ballot. This is not over with. They'll continue to do whatever they can, but we've got to fight through this. He's fighting through it. He's got more energy than anybody I've ever seen. And I'm, I'm just proud that uh, he's our candidate, and he will be our candidate after tomorrow night, after Super Tuesday. You know, Coach, what do you make of the, these left-wing liberals, whether they're in the media or in the Congress, saying that Donald Trump and Republicans are a threat to democracy? And then you see the very action that they're trying to throw Donald Trump off the ballot. The Supreme Court saves him, but these are the purveyors of, of, of the threats to democracy, not the conservatives. Well, it's the blame game. Yeah. Uh, we all know that. It's the blame game. They, they blame us for everything, the border, the crime, racism, bankruptcy, the economy, uh, the wars going on that they're trying to start. And they're going to get us in three wars before, before they're done. Hopefully, we can get them out before then. But it's just amazing what they try to push over the American people. They got most of the mainstream media just absolutely brainwashed. They're pushing their narrative. But people are starting to understand this is not the direction this country needs to go. And hopefully, in about seven, eight months, we'll start getting this thing straightened back out. Coach Tommy Tuberville, always a pleasure to see you. Enjoy your Thursday night primetime seat for the State of the Union. I know you're going to yeah. love it. He gets to call you yeah. Coach and Tommy, and I call you Senator. So well, I'm the one getting Call me respect. Coach Dagan. Call me Coach Dagan. Uh, I will. Coach you and is. you and Joe Gibbs. That's more honorable. <laughs> it's more honorable right now. I'm just Thank kidding. Thank you. Thanks, Senator.